Situations at times of drought are not anything better to the communities living in Mandera district. Since 1999, the district has experienced seven successive droughts. Abdiya lost all her livestock in the 2006 drought. Life has been difficult for this mother of seven. Rural Agency for Community Development Assistance, Rasida, another partner of Cordaids, works in the district with the aim of turning the tide against drought. I engine, machine, through an emergency drought response and mitigation initiative funded from the Dutch Postcode Lottery Grant, Rasida has cushioned vulnerable populations against the effects of drought. They promote dry land crop production, dairy goat farming and water provision. <laughs> Vulnerable households, specifically those living along River Dawa, along the borders of Kenya and Ethiopia, have benefited from these initiatives. Their diesel-driven water pumps are literally working miracles, a testimony on how greatly many more pumps would contribute positively to the lives of this new generation of farmers. On the other hand, majority of the goats are on gestation, others are already in calf. Further, interior water is a scarce commodity. At times of drought, the situation gets worse with women trekking long distances in search of water. To enable easy access and ensure water availability during the dry season, Rasida has supported construction of underground water structures locally known as berkads. <laughs> Barricades, a borrowed technology from the neighboring country Somalia, tap surface runoff to fill the tank during the rainy season. Their construction is a shared responsibility between Rasida and the locals. <laughs> The tanks are well built and covered to minimize contamination and reduce evaporation from direct sunlight. Water scarcity is gradually becoming history. Developmental meetings are now concentrated around the water points and as long as there is water, all will be well to this community. All Cordaid partners have undergone training on facilitation of community-managed disaster risk reduction initiatives. The same is done with respective communities for the purpose of programming. One of the things we are trying to do is to develop the capacity of these communities to replicate some of the work we are doing with them, not just to rely on our hands or maybe for an external funding to be there all the time. We're just trying to facilitate the process slowly and I think 10 years to come hopefully the whole thing the communities will take up the initiative themselves. Besides earth water pans have for long provided water to the community members but seepage menace has always been a big challenge. We, we did an analysis and found out that almost 70 percent of the water just is seeped into the ground and to reduce that and to make water stay longer in this pan we actually tried to look for this high-density polythene sheets, which is a, it has a density of almost one millimeter, and it's a big, it's actually, it can stay for a longer period, 20 to 25 years. And this reduces, you know, seepage by 100%. And once you reduce seepage by 100% in those parts, then you can even have water to all of the months in the year. Since Rasida's innovativeness of lining the pan, the locals have a big relief. 
Water is available closer to the households. Distance covered by women has reduced considerably from 40 to less than 2 kilometers. Women now have time to engage in income generating activities. Rasida's interventions are a big success so far. Her focus still remains on course and especially on how to make the water more clean and safe for consumption. These women of the semi-arid Samburu district are proud of their culture. However, memories of the 2006 devastating drought are still fresh in their minds. They struggled to fend for their families. As a way of addressing the challenge, they now keep camels, a mitigation intervention idealized and facilitated by Community Organization for Development Support, CODES, with funding from Cordaid and ECHO. Keeping camels is proving to be an excellent drought coping mechanism since the milk yield is high and constant all year round. In exchange of a camel heifer, a household gave out 35 heads of small stock sheep and goats. Codes use them for a restocking process. It happens when a drought has come and uh, some households have lost many livestock or all livestock and they need to continue in their life of being pastoralists because that is the mode of living here, that is their livelihood system here. So they need some stock. So when you give these people some access to livestock, and when you actually give them livestock, that is what we call restocking, because you have restocked them. Many vulnerable households who had lost all their livestock at the height of the 2006 drought have benefited from this dual initiative. Nabulkush, a single mother of six children, is one of them. She got a herd of 10 from Codes, and now she prides in a herd of over 40, just in a period under two years. Codes also promote another very important initiative in drought preparedness, destocking. What is done in destocking is to try and reduce the number of livestock that would starve to death uh, due to drought. So that process usually entails purchasing those livestock so that this household is enabled to get some funds to buy food and also to keep it until at a good time when they can buy livestock for themselves. So in that, you afford the losses that, they, uh, that could occur. Water and pasture are also critical resources for the Samburu pastoralists' livelihood. Besides facilitating acquisition of load animals, donkeys, codes working through the community have desilted and expanded earth water pans capacity. Distances to water points have reduced from 15 kilometers to less than 3 kilometers. Codes has also rehabilitated boreholes, which are also key in addressing water problems at times of drought. The core to effective drought preparedness and mitigation is community participation. The community people, when they come together to sit down and think about their needs, it is them who know it best. It is eventually these people who are going to be managers of the projects that are done and it is them that will continue to see that they continue to get the benefits for a long period of time. Code's interventions have proved to be the right thing at the right time. Her initiatives to the Samburus through Cordaid and ECHO are rays of hope and the people's future promises to be better than before.